A mutant keen spider crawled up to the boy's face and took a bite. The boy instantly falls unconscious to the ground, and everyone is stunned as they watch the poisonous spider run away. The boy lies in a hospital bed and does not wake up, nor does it grow spider silk and become Spider-Man. Instead, it is poisoned and his wounds are spreading. Jack comes to the circus alone to beg the spider boss for an antidote in order to save his best friend. What he doesn't know is that Mike is a vampire, and Mike is asking for the antidote to save his best friend if he becomes my assistant. The boy agreed, only to see him raise his hands and Mike palms against each other after the fingers left strange wounds, but did not know that he had become a half-vampire. Jack always felt something was wrong when he looked at the blood on his hands. He comes to school the next day and finds his classmates bitten by poisonous spiders unharmed. He happily scratches at the blackboard, leaving a deep scratch on the board and shocking his classmates. Jack's appetite soars and he picks up raw meat and nibbles on it. When he saw his sister's neck, he would unconsciously move closer and closer, almost biting on it. In the end, he was able to control himself. At night, Jack found Mike and asked him about the truth that he was no longer human. Mike told him that if he wanted to ensure the safety of his family, he had to leave them forever, and then he took out a bottle of potion and gave it to him to drink. And then he broke Jack's neck when he wasn't paying attention and threw him downstairs. The next day, countless friends and family came to see him off and a good friend even gave him a cell phone in gratitude. Everyone is in sad silence. Jack is lying in the coffin, secretly playing games. Late at night, Mike came to the cemetery and dug with a shovel for eight hours and finally opened the coffin. Just saved Jack up, but felt a murderous aura is approaching, then immediately pushed him down again. The next second suddenly, a black shadow rushed over and pounced on Mike. It turned out that this mysterious person was also a bloodsucker. Their goal is to destroy the entire human race. The two of them are not comparable in speed, so they fought in the cemetery. Mike couldn't beat it and was thrown away. The bloodsucker pulled out a sack. Jack saw the situation is not good, scared to pull his legs and run, but he cannot run bloodsucking demon, and ultimately the other party into the sack. Rushing wildly, Mike pulled out a tombstone thrown out and smashed down. The vampire holding Jack quickly transient, came to the street. In the nick of time, he deliberately attracted the enemy to come. Just when he turned back, the truck directly knocked the vampire flying. Mike also took the opportunity to take Jack to escape, bring him back to the vampire base. And Jack's best friend, Ben falls into depression and goes to the roof of a building alone to try to end his life. But just then, a bald guy suddenly appears. This bald head is the boss of the vampire, saying that Jack betrayed him and is still alive, and asking Ben to join him to rule the world. Jack practiced his superpower every day in order to defeat the powerful bloodsucker. At night, Mike himself takes him to the battlefield to train with him, but Jack's superpower is so weak that he can't even scratch the bark of a tree. In order for him to improve his superpower quickly, he even found a living person to make him dizzy and told him to suck blood, but Jack is still afraid to take a bite. Soon to the night, the crisis came. Bloodsucker with the masters to find the place. Jack saw the situation, casually picked up the ironing machine to smash Bruce a hole. But Bruce just gently touched with his hand. The wound will automatically heal. At this time, Mike appeared in time, successfully sneak attacked Bloodsucker, and took Jack away at the speed of light, hiding in the underground chamber and lying in the coffin. When he woke up the next day and returned to the base, there was a lot of talk among the people, all blaming him for being attacked by the vampire because of him. However, his former best friend Ben has already been pulled in by the vampire, and his own family is also in danger. Jack found the war letter left by the vampire in his room, and then he came to the theater reservation place alone, and saw the scene in front of his eyes. He was incredulous, not only has his family and girlfriend been kidnapped, but his best friend has also joined the vampire gang. Ben now hates him with a passion and is given a choice, save his girlfriend or his family. Only children make choices, Jack has to save them all. Jack was so angry that he picked up Ben and tried to beat him up, but he didn't know that his best friend was very strong and was sent flying several hundred meters away with a gentle push. At this time, Mike arrived in time, threw his old spider out. The spider climbed to Ben's head to stall for time. The two elders start a fierce battle, while the men watch the show from the sidelines. In the midst of the chaos, the girl transformed into a monkey tail and quietly untied the rope. Mike couldn't beat the bloodsucker and was pressed to the ground. At that critical moment, the girl volunteered to donate blood so that Jack regained his supernatural powers. Seeing that Mike is about to be killed, Jack rushes out as fast as lightning and directly sends Ben flying several hundred meters. After 300 rounds of fighting, Ben was defeated by Jack, who had just replenished his energy, and just as they were about to fight to the death, this man stopped them in time. He realizes that Ben is not a match for Jack and takes him 